Patient D, you are now undergoing a xenograft from a pig's organs transplanted to your digestive tract. I am 56 years old. I suffered from colon cancer. I was weak, thin and hopeless. But now I am alive as ever I recovered, weirdly recovered. Normal food wasn't enough, I needed more. And more. And more. After examining the organs of chimpanzees and baboons the digestive tracts of smaller, pot-bellied species of pig are the most compatible ones for human xenograft. We have to put into this man's source of energy, both compact and powerful, a Ferrari engine. What have you been eating? I have been eating garbage, rotten food, every scrap that I could find, satisfies my hunger. I no longer felt the need to sleep much. This is new to me. It shocked us to see how he had been eating unhealthy, barely sleeping. But this patient's hemoglobin count and his blood pressure were all ideal. Every test revealed that this man was bursting with good health, stronger and fitter than he had been in all his life. A xenograph performed by a French medical team to a man age of 56. Suffering from colon cancer succeeded for all digestive tract cancers that did not respond to radiotherapy. The operation took the place of chemotherapy as the standard treatment option. Hello, this is a reporter speaking. Live with less bone Samaritans. Let us hear the side of their representative. I am a representative of Les Bonds Samaritans. This is a medical solution we need for a social problem. So, let the poor receive this operation. Malnutrition zero. Deficit zero. They just want our money. That place? Who wants to eat there anyway? Liberty. Liberty. Garbage for sale. Come on, man. You have to pay. Back off. Please. You have to find my grandma. She doesn't remember her name. She could be anywhere around the town. Please. Sir, you have to calm down. It's already reported. We're working on it. Officer. Excuse me. How may I help you, ma'am? I would like to report a missing person. My baby. My Emma. I was going through my bag looking for my wallet. I couldn't find her anywhere. Please, you have to help me. Including the women? Over. Arrest all with scars at the base of their throat. Over. Copy that, Charlie. Over and out. Don't touch that. Stop this. The public deserves to know about it. Move. The news about people suddenly vanishing resulted to the government. Deciding to capture everyone that received the operation. Without discrimination between law-abiding citizen and criminals. Because of this. Men, women and even children. Are being forced to strip. In the streets so that the police can check for scars that came from the operation. Those who got caught are placed in the available internment camps located in towns of the country. Inside those camps no food was provided.
which resulted in the detainees eating their clothes. Then after, the women vanished. Next were the men. The last prisoner named Jean Prody died after consuming his own ears and toes and constantly screaming for 30 hours. I still think that it started because of me. Everyone knew what happened. And how and where. Everyone knows. But no one talks about it and no one is guilty. I must live with that. We ate the children last.